in addition to w w trying to figure out the central question of who responds and who doesn't respond, is it possible that we could have some type of, of biomarker that will help guide our treatment so that we just don't have one size fits all type of treatment? And there are genetic biomarkers that are fairly, genetic variations that are fairly common in the population. For example, the ones that are in the 30% range. Mm -hmm. So the idea is that we could possibly go uh, work and figure out whether or not there was some type of, of genes that might be involved in exactly this e exact learning process of, of that is integral to exposure-based treatment, which is learning that previously dangerous stimuli are no longer dangerous. And you need your prefrontal cortex and you need these plasticity factors, a growth factor in particular called brain-derived neurotrophic factor. And there is a point mutation in there that 30% of the population has, and, uh, and the study you and I are doing right now, so the data are not completely in yet, but the, the idea is that, that if you have this, you might not respond as fully to a course of exposure-based, extinction-based learning uh, for this type of treatment. It doesn't mean that it's not going to work, it just means that you might need to modify the treatment, for example, a few more sessions and stuff. So that's the, what I think is very interesting. Then we will be able to see whether or not we can sort of see that, that we have, we have that the variation in response might be due to genetic variation.